Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute. Um, I didn't post at all last week so I am back with another video. Not too long ago I said I was going to start doing this thing where I wanted to know if hacks and tools and products that just get so much hype are really necessary in your makeup routine. I did one on lash primer, which I will have pop up right here, which you can watch after this one. But in this video, I'm going to be testing out if it really helps to apply powder before you apply your foundation. People have been saying it's great for oily skin, it's great to help with full coverage, it's great to help with your pores, and I wanna test it out. I wanna know, does powder help? if I apply it before foundation. So if you want to know too, then stay tuned. So I'm going to be using the Cover Effects Translucent Setting Powder in Deep. They say it's good to use a translucent powder for this because you know they're more finely made. I'm just going to pop this up here. Now the thing is, I've watched a couple people do this. I've watched Jackie do it. I've watched Casey Holmes do it. Um, it's my Ray Ray. And they're all different. I think Jackie just packed it onto her face where Casey Holmes just dusted it over her face and then It's My Ray Ray baked with it. So I was like, which one are you supposed to do? I know Wayne Goss did a video on this, Jesus, a while ago and I don't remember which one he did, but I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe do a combination, maybe, du Jesus, maybe uh, start dusting on and then packing, I don't know. I, this just feels really, all right, let's just, all right. Okay, I'm, I, I, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna wing this at this point. I think you're supposed to get a layer of powder on your face. I, I don't know. Um, I already uh, moisturized and primed my face, so that's how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to do the normal things you would do, like moisturize and prime your face, and then go in with powder. There's one thing I've learned on my channel, it's that less is more, so I don't know if, I, I guess I'm just gonna start out with a small layer here and then build. I don't know, it just feels extremely weird just applying powder to my face. Okay, so I feel like that's a pretty good amount. I have a nice layer. You can tell that it's already kind of giving me the appearance that I have a product on my face. If I said this was foundation on my face, clearly it would be a foundation that was too ashy for me. But as far as like the powder goes, like you can tell it's already kind of giving me some coverage here. Um, and it's definitely already kind of soaking up the oil that was already on my face. So I'm gonna go in with foundation now. I'm gonna use the Cover Effects Natural Finish Foundation. I'm using this one because one, this is probably the best color match I've ever had. And two, this, um, I mentioned it in the foundation hunt that I did for this video, that this doesn't really give you a matte finish. So I don't wanna use a foundation that like already claimed is gonna be matte because I don't know if it's the powder that's helping it stay matte throughout the day or because it's a, a foundation that actually does stay matte. So I'm gonna use one that I like but doesn't control my oil that much, if that makes sense.
Okay, so there is the foundation on my face. Nothing really felt any different about applying it. Um, it just, you know, still glided all over my face. So I'm going to go in with concealer now and see if that is affected by putting powder on first. Okay, so there's concealer. I don't know, I feel like my under eye is looking a little weird to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But now I'm going to bake, which is the part that confuses me because it's like, you know, I'm just putting more powder on top. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder to bake my face. And to set my entire face, another thing Jackie, Ina, and Alyssa Ashley convinced me to purchase is the YSL Soup de Clot, Soupe de Clot, something like that, um, powder. This better be worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera then come back but this is what my base is looking like and it looks looks pretty good okay so this is my face while it's fully done um I was gonna do lashes but the last minute I said why not and threw them on so they look a little that's why um it is now a 110 so I'm gonna go for the day um you know go about my business it feels like it's gonna be a hot one today I'm gonna come back later so you can see how this held up and give my impressions on how this hack works and if your makeup routine really needs it so i'll see you later okay so i am back and it is now 7 16 so i've had this on for about six hours and this is what my face looks like no i feel like i should probably address the elephant in the room here which is why does my hair look like this it didn't look like that before i left um yeah your girl had to wrap up her hair and have it ready to go because i am ready to go to sleep so I'm literally going to wrap up this video take off my makeup edit this video shower and then upload um, probably upload the video to YouTube tonight that's my goal hopefully that's how this goes um but let's just yeah I just had to explain that but let's get into this actual process of applying powder before foundation when I was doing it it definitely feels weird but some things that I found is the foundation kind of clings to wherever the powder is so it doesn't spread as much which will require a little bit more product but it definitely does give that more full coverage look to your face um i don't know if you would agree with me but i felt like when i left for the day that was the best my base has ever looked that i it honestly will give you a flawless finish i don't know what it is about applying powder before foundation that does that but even like all of the videos that I watched when they left or if they did leave because a lot of them did not like check in later on in the day 
um, but just like the overall look it was just beautiful like anyone that I saw try this and I felt like when I left for the day it looked flawless on my face however as of right now 7 15 p.m. I feel like I can feel the Crisco just sizzling on my skin like y'all are seeing this right you let me turn this way so you can see okay let me turn that way so you can see it you see all of that yeah um I thought the whole point of this was that it was going to help control the oil in your face now keep in mind I did use a foundation that I know um, doesn't have the mattest of finishes anyway but I wanted to see if this hack would just keep me matte regardless because I really do like the color match that the cover effects natural finish gives me um, but that was not the case here um, it did not control my oil at all this is I was not expecting this whatsoever and the thing is it didn't take long for my face to start looking like this and um, what sucks about that is because that's the only thing issue that I have here I feel like my makeup in general still looks good like we're not like you know let's take the oil and the dewy look of my face aside like my makeup is still on my face it's still pigmented you know it hasn't dull throughout the day like you can still see my highlighter um you can still see my contour all of that stuff um, so it hasn't like, you know, started melting or really moving anywhere on my face. I feel like where I put it, it stayed locked throughout the day. Um, it's just the, the oil is too much for me. So, um, so I said that this claimed full coverage, it definitely gives you full coverage. Um, I think they said that it helps with pores. I don't have the biggest of pores, but for the ones that I do, it does help with pores. They say it helps with oil, at least not this combination of powder and foundation will help with oil um i'll definitely try it again with a different foundation one that claims you know it is matte to see if that works but even if this had stayed matte follow along with what i'm trying to say here even if this had stayed matte throughout the day and i came back and i wasn't this oily i'm not sure this is something that i would do every single day when i was doing my makeup i feel like this would probably be something that i left for if i had somewhere to go somewhere where i wanted to be seen and look cute i don't want to look cute anymore, but you guys know what i mean um i just feel like you know i am someone who is more of the medium coverage borderline full coverage somewhere in there and this is just like this gives you that beat face that you it's just it's there okay that's what this gives you and I don't really want that every day you know some days I just want you know throw a little powder on you know do something with my face you know I don't want that whole full coverage makeup look every day which is the only reason I am saying why I probably would not do this every day but if you are someone who you know full coverage is your middle name um the oil control might work a little differently for you than it did for me i am gonna try it again so i will keep you guys posted on how it works um and you know if you have the whole pores issue this is something that you might want to check out for me do i need this in my makeup routine probably not but um now that i've tested it and i've seen how it looks and especially how the the finish that it can give you you just gotta play around a little bit um do I need it in my makeup routine? No, but now that I know about it and I've tried it, do I like having the option of using it in my makeup routine? Absolutely. I'm just floored on the finish that it gave, which is why I'm kind of, you know, trying to like get past the oil here, but I can't because there's just too much of it. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope seeing me try this out and hearing some of my thoughts and watching my experiences helped in your decision whether or not you're gonna try this out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one bye